President Trump left the NATO summit early today, hot under the collar after a hot mic moment, where U.S. allies were caught on camera laughing and gossiping at his expense. Ben Tracy is in London tonight. They posed for a family photo, but 70 years into the NATO alliance, this family seems a bit dysfunctional. So this will be actually my last meeting. President Trump canceled a formal press conference today after dropping this rhetorical bomb on Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Well, he's too fast. Mr. Trump was angry about this video of Trudeau apparently mocking him while talking with French President Emmanuel Macron and British Prime Minister Boris Johnson at Buckingham Palace Tuesday night. I have a very good relationship with President Trump and his team. Trudeau said he was talking about President Trump's sudden announcement that next year's G7 summit will be held at Camp David. Every different leader has teams who every now and then uh, have uh, their jaws drop at uh, unscheduled surprises like uh, that video itself, for example. Today, it was President Trump caught on a hot mic talking about Trudeau. That was funny when I said the guy's two-faced. Mr. Trump had wanted the focus to be on him bolstering NATO by successfully strong-arming allies into paying more for their own defense. If you look at NATO today compared to NATO three years ago when I started, uh, we built up NATO. But that was overshadowed by unguarded comments about a president who promised to restore the dignity of the U.S. abroad. And the world is laughing at us. They're laughing at the stupidity of our president. President Trump says Justin Trudeau was just upset because he called him out for not contributing enough to NATO. Nora, before he left London, Mr. Trump did say that he thinks Justin Trudeau is actually a nice guy. All right, Ben. Thank you.